Hi guys, Big Boy Finland again here and today we will make uh, pandesal but instead of doing the ordinary pandesal, we will make something different, something Japanese. <laughs> so, uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, pandesal recipes fl uh, infused or flavored with ube or the purple yam but today we will make or uh, we will use this uh, Japanese green tea. So, we will use this matcha matcha pandesal with using few ingredients so the ingredients are we have flour we have a dried yeast and we have sugar and salt I mix it already matcha uh, water lukewarm water and uh, some vegetable oil so I've been uh, doing this recipe for quite a long time and I've been tweaking it and now I've, uh, I've come up to easier version so you don't have to activate the yeast you just need to mix all the dry ingredients first and then mix the liquid after that we have to uh, how do you say it in English I only remember it in Finnish it's koho so you have to rise it the, 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 the dough <laughs> Sorry, my language is mixing. So, ah, you have to proof it, and then after proofing it, if it, uh, if it, if it already doubled the size, and then we have to shape it into pandesal, and then roll it to uh, breadcrumbs, and then after that, we can bake it. So, let's get going. Okay, so now we will start mixing all the ingredients, and we will use this hook. So I remove it first and then, oops. But yeah. Then we put the flour. It's 650 grams. Yeast, dried yeast, 14 grams or two packets. Salt and sugar. I mixed it already. And then our matcha, green tea, two tablespoons. So we attach the hook, mix it in medium speed, and now we put the water, it's, I have to look on the recipe. So it's 400 grams water and 50 grams of vegetable oil. So just chug it in, pour it in. Okay. Mix it until it the, the, the dough is smooth. Medium speed. So if you don't have a mixer, uh, you can do the same process and do it in the bowl or in a flat smooth surface you can make uh, like a, a volcano you can form the flour or the dry ingredients like a volcano and then pour the water in and then slowly mix it with your hand and knead the dough until it is smooth So now, I think the dough is almost ready. We just need to uh, smoothen it or like the final kneading. So the mixture is already mixed. And this recipe is quite, uh, uh, what do you call this, moist. Okay. Wow. So set aside the mixer and 
This is not paint, this is flour. So, so now we just have to scrape all the dough in here. Like what I said, it's quite moist. So you will be needing this scraper. So, Every time I bake bread, I still do this, like on the last part of the dough mixing to ensure that the gluten is well formed. Yeah. There you go. So, we do the test. How do you do the test? You can do like two ways. You can do the window test like this. Take a small part of the dough and do like oh, not to show it. Yeah, uh, the dough is not yet ready. So. so it's quite smooth. Then you can do this like uh, by pressing. So this is the other way of testing it. When you press it, it bounces back. So that means the gluten is formed already inside. So we don't want to over knead it. So I think this one is ready. Or we still do the, you want to see what is the window test? So this is the window test. Hallelujah. Uh, so see, na pupunet siya. So this is the window test. You can see the gluten is formed already. So there is the camera. So this dough is ready to be proof or in finish. Coho. So we put some flour on the bowl. Put the dough. It's about 45 minutes or until it doubles the size. So we just cover it with damp towel and just put it in the warm place of your house in my case I put it uh, on top of the stove but it's not on <laughs> so see you later and now it's ready so uh, it doubled the size already of our dough so it's fluffy and now we have to form it uh, we have to form the dough or portion the dough. It's around 70 to 80 grams. So again, we have to dust the surface. There you go. Uh, in this recipe I think we can make around 15 to 20 pieces depending on how accurate is your cutting mm, yeah. so how many 1 2 3 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 17. So, yeah. Just form it like in circles. You just have to roll it like this. You do it like you slide it like that. Put it on the baking tray 
But before putting on the baking tray, we will roll it in the breadcrumbs. So we just put it like straight in there and just roll it on the breadcrumbs. And And then again, uh, after this one, we have to uh, rise the dough again. So we have to proof it again for around, or until it doubles the size. So around 30 to 40 minutes again. So just cover it with damp cloth. And it's already 45 minutes and voila, it doubles the size already or maybe triple. So. This is ready to put in the oven. So let's put it in the oven. Twenty minutes in the oven and let's check if it's cook already. So let's wait. Okay guys, so it's ready. Oh can you smell that? And there you go guys. This is our matcha pandesal. So it's oh, fluffy. Look, it's too smoky. So guys, now is the best part. So we will taste our pandesal. Look, it's so fluffy and it's so hot. Nothing beats hot pandesal in the morning. But today we will use this. Sabu solate justo. So it means smoke uh, melted cheese. So this cheese melts when you put on the hot surface. So there is like some. Did you see the bits? I don't know what is that, but maybe that's the one who made this cheese smoke flavor. So let's taste. So fluffy, look. Perfect for breakfast and coffee. So, if you like this video, you can try the recipe. And if it satisfies you, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. And please don't forget to click the bell button down there. So, thank you for watching and see you again on my next vlog. Bye.